Good evening, everybody. This is Reverend Bradford Hole, and today we're going to share with you a brief uh, stewardship uh, word from God's Word. What is stewardship? Well, the little word stewardship uh, is really the word management. The first principle we need to address is the fact that everything we have from God belongs to God. It, it really doesn't belong to us. We are here to manage the spiritual resources that God has entrusted to us, the financial resources, the gifting resources, and the idea resources that God has made available. Because if you're born again, and you know Jesus as Lord and Savior, God has already invested the highest price. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in it shall not perish but have everlasting life. God invested, he sowed the seed of his only son. Uh, I'm a father and I'm a grandfather and we also adopted three. I don't know that I could send my son to die for those that I don't personally know. But that's what God did. God loved you so much that he sent his son to die on the cross. God raised him from the dead. Jesus met with his disciples and gave them instructions. And then he ascended into heaven where he's ever making intercession for you and for me. So that's right. Uh, Jesus is praying for you. So isn't it right when we talk about stewardship, God provides everything for us. See, our jobs are not our source. Our business is not our source. God is our source. And there's a principle in scripture that says that a way, as a way of saying thank you to God, the first 10%, the tithe, really belongs to God. Now, God isn't physically going to come down and take it from you. No. How does he do that? He sends it through servants. The first place that I would recommend that, that you make sure that you support is your local church. If you have a local church, the tithe belongs to the local church for the upkeep and the, and the work of the ministry and to cover expenses and costs and things like that. But there are other things other than tithe. Uh, there's what's called offerings. And especially anything over the tithe, if you give and the Lord has directed you to do that, the Bible says that when you, gen you are generous with your time, talent, and treasure, God will bring that back to you. The people of uh, Nehemiah's time, I'm sorry, Malachi's time, thought that they had it made. And um, Malachi brought a stern word to them. And he said, listen, you think God is going to bless you when you're a God robber? And people said, what do you mean? He said, you've robbed me with tithes and offerings. If you give your governor uh, uh, a offering of some kind and it's tainted or it's the leftovers, is he going to accept that? And they said, no. Why does God get our leftovers? The Bible calls the tithe should be the first fruit. In other words, uh, it's based on originally an agricultural 
uh, society in, in, in which they would, um, when there was the ingathering harvest, the first 10% would belong to God. And so when you receive your pay, however you receive your pay, whether it's weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, um, my wife and I set aside the resources that in keeping with our income. And uh, I suggest you do the same and trust God. Now, what to do with those resources over and above the local church? You know, maybe you don't have a local church. Well, if your only church is Rock Family Fellowship Church, then fine. You can support our ministry. Um, one of the things that Rock World Missions does, and I'm going to ask you to pray for us, and also I'm going to ask you to sow a special seed if you can. Um, many of you out there are maybe struggling and having a really difficult time, and I understand that. But if God has blessed you and you have the ability to give, please pray about sowing a seed. And I'll tell you the reason why. What we do is a little bit different. Rock World Missions works with only native pastors. And our focus is planting churches among the unreached people groups all over the world. We have opportunities on a regular basis to send forth these men of God with resources and prayer support and instruction and things to help encourage and build them up. For example, I'm just giving one example, but there are many examples. Uh, coming up, we're going to be doing one of our pastor partners is going to be doing a crusade and uh, he's going to Muslim areas next uh, I believe he's leaving Thursday uh, but he's going for Friday Saturday Sunday crusade in Muslim areas that have never heard of Jesus before but it's it's a whole different territory and it's expensive to get to uh, we are needing a bare minimum of $300 uh, to come in between now and Tuesday. And we have other projects that, you know, would take thousands of dollars. Uh, building churches and uh, sound systems and all kinds of different things. So all I'm asking you to do is pray. Maybe God wants you to just do a one-time gift and that's okay. But maybe God wants you to become a ministry partner with us. Because remember, the souls that, that, that come into the kingdom of God because of what we do, remember, you share a part in that. It's not just us. It's not just the native pastors. But it is a partnership between these anointed uh, uh, pastors, church planters. We do the five-fold ministry. We try to do a five-fold ministry, ministry teams. Apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher. We get the best and the brightest to work with us. And then we target the unreached people groups. People have never heard of Jesus before. Plant brand new churches. We do DVD, Bible colleges, all kinds of different things. And that work is expensive. So if that's something that God is stirring in your heart, uh, you can reach me. Uh, my name is Reverend Bradford Hole. Uh, you can reach me at bradfordhole at yahoo.com or call me 517-677-6454. We'd love to pray for you, pray with you. Um, but anyhow, we look forward to seeing what God is going to do in terms of bringing in resources uh, for this upcoming uh, missions project. And we'll give you updates. We'll let you know exactly how it, what happened and, and the results of the outreach and so forth. So anyhow, God bless you. Jesus loves you. We do too. And Jesus is Lord. Thank you for staying tuned and uh, please pray about, uh, pray for us. We need your prayer support, but besides your prayer support, we really do need your financial uh, help as well. God bless you. Jesus loves you. We do too. And Jesus is Lord. Thank you.